Good morning. My name is Wendy Tilly. This is Thursday. It's the day we do the video blog. So, you know, we're celebrating our inner elf. Want to let you know that here are our friends that are joining us today, listening to our video blog. I have my hot tea. I have my Diet Coke. And today's video blog is a little bit about patience. So maybe you've read it on namasteways.com, but if you have not had time to read it, I'm gonna go ahead and give it a presentation for you. Thanks for listening. Waiting, hurry up and wait, don't be late. I'm late, I'm late for a very important date. You've heard that, right? Hello, goodbye, I'm late, I'm late, I'm late. When you are late, what message does that send to others? Maybe the message conveyed is that the others are unimportant or you feel you are more important. Waiting in line at a stoplight for an appointment or an event could make you late or they could just have you waiting with patience as a lesson. Patience is a virtue as the phrase goes. Yoga practice teaches patience. Moving into a pose, using a breath, Transitioning to a body contortion that you have not previously seen or actually been in. Yep, all with patience. Patience, do you have the skill or is patience a mindset? Either way, patience is a tough gig. The essence of patience may present differently for each person. Waiting for a gazillion mile train to pass in front of you seems to show as an ultimate quiz of patience. You are in your auto with no place to turn except waiting it out with impatience. Why do we get impatient? Maybe it's a control thing. Impatience breeds anxiety that acknowledges patience is a virtue. So move your JLo and pandemic belly throughout the day. Take an inhalation of patience and an exhalation of impatience. Namaste ways, hurry up and wait. Namaste Ways. Thank you for listening. Have a great day. Namasteways.com.